I'm Adam Atkins. I'm here cooking with a brand new Gosney Arc XL with three of my absolute banging specials from my food truck. Let's go. First off, we're going to do the Zucca pizza. This one's an absolute banger of a seller on my market. It's got a cream pumpkin base or a squash base, gorgonzola, some field de lac mozzarella, pecorino, basil, and I often hit it with a little bit of enduya to give it a little bit of spice. We're going to cut up the squash. I've already cut this one earlier and we're going to roast this off in the arc. Heavy cast iron pan here, just to make sure it's something that can handle the heat of the arc. Arc is preheated. We're up in the 400 degree mark. Just going to dunk it in into a cold pan. Hit that with some olive oil, a little salt. Going to give it a crack of pepper. Give that a little mix up, get some oil over everything. And that's going to go into the oven. Slide it into the middle. And we're going to turn it down to a low flame setting. That's going to take about 10 minutes for it to cook. It's going to get a nice bit of color on it. It's going to soften it. At this point, do you want to get a couple of like shots of it cooking? Sizzling away nicely. We're just going to check it out. Just going to give it a little bit of a turn, make sure we're getting a nice color all the way around. I just wanted to get a little bit of funky color on it and make it look a little gnarly. Okay, so it's had about 10 minutes. We turned it a few times and they got a really nice color on them. Really nice little caramelization on there. They're not, not burnt, just a nice little bit of color that's going to help bring out the sweetness in the uh, squash. And it's going to whack it in this bowl. We're just going to hit it with a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more salt, crack more pepper. Smash a little bit of sage in here as well. Squash and sage go together really well. Some butter, some double cream. Make it nice and rich and creamy. Blender. I'm just going to add a little bit more cream just to loosen it up a bit. Okay, that's all good. Got a nice consistency there. Doesn't have to be like too smooth. Could be a little bit thick. Just make sure you taste it. You might want to season it a little bit more. That's a banger. So we're going to assemble our pizza. We've got a fine semolina here. Going to get some dough out. If you want a dough recipe, this is the overnight dough recipe. You can get it from gosney.com. So I'm going to cut one out. Place it upside down and I'm going to turn it back round, push the air to the crust, give it a flip and slap it out. We're going to get rid of that excess flour. We've got our round, our squash, decent amount on there, pecorino, fresh basil, freshly cut mozzarella. This is Fio de la mozzarella. We've got our gorgonzola. I like to use the gorgonzola picante, it's not as soft. It's easier to like put onto a pizza. You can use any blue cheese, something quite punchy. And I like to hit this one with a little enduya, Calabrian meat paste made with a load of fresh chilies. Gives it a really nice fiery little touch. So you've got like the sweet from the pumpkin and you've got the spicy going on here. A little drizzle of oil and that's ready for the arc. This is a new Gosney Pro placement peel. This is a 30 centimeter one. It's nice and flexible, nice and light. We're going to use this one. It's going to scoop it straight on. It's got a really nice tapered edge to it. And because it's round, you just follow the profile of the peel. So to the edge. And this is a 270 gram dough ball. So this will make like a full 12 inch pizza. Just going to rejig our toppings a little bit. Full flame. We're actually running at like 500 degrees on this one. Okay, so when you put this down, it's really non-stick. Just slam it down and pull it straight out and it'll stay. Okay, so here it goes. Just like that. Always give it a spin. Looks cool. Another new toy. This is balanced turning peel. So it's a 20 centimetre head, really nice peel to use, a nice wooden handle, feels great. I'm just going to get underneath it, give it its first turn. As always, with any, any time, just going to check the base, break the seal, and just give it a full 180, put it back down in exactly the same position. Let's get a nice bit of colour on the underside, the oven is hot. Just keeping an eye on it all the time, another quarter turn. I'm happy with the dough that's cooked out. Just that little side there. Just give it one little spin or a little bit more there. And we're done. So that's the Zucker pizza. Absolute best seller on my market. Let's make another. Eggplant emoji. <laughs> okay, next up is the aubergine or eggplant parmigiana pizza. This one is an absolute banger. Always sells out on my market stall. Gonna take your aubergine, cut it into like centimeter slices. Lengthways is good, widthways, whatever you like. Give them a bit of a salting. It's going to draw out some of the moisture. Leave them for about an hour, pat them dry. So they're just going to look like this. It's a winner. Got a nice cast iron griddle here. Just going to slide it in to preheat it a little bit. Arc's running at about 450 degrees C at the minute. That wind is brutal. 
So it's cold, we're on the top of a roof in Bournemouth. It's February, it's windy, it's dark, it's pretty gloomy. We're making sunshine. Okay, so our pan is smoking hot. Gonna slide that out. I tell you what, shall I use that peel to get it out? What's this one called? Utility. Oh yeah, it says utility turning peel. So our pan is smoking hot. I'm gonna use our utility Gosney peel to get it out. It's gonna, if I can, get underneath it. Slam it down there. Just gonna give it a little drizzle of oil. Don't wanna oil the pan too much on the aubergines. Okay, and they're ready. Just gonna place them down, get some scorch marks going on. A little bit more oil on top and back into the arc. Oh, hold on, I was supposed to do the butter as well. Get them out, gonna give them a flip. Got some nice marks on these. And whilst they're out the oven, I'm just gonna get this little pot here. Couple of bits of butter in there. Garlic clove, smash that open. Don't need to cut it up, but just want a little bit of the flavor of the garlic to come out. And we're gonna slam that into the arc as well. Right just there in the flame. And then these are gonna go back in the oven. Do you wanna get the sizzling? You need to take it out of there. They all stop sizzling. Okay, we're gonna get aubergines out because they're done. A little bit overdone. Let's flip those ones over. No, that's overdone. Man, I overcooked the aubergines. Okay, we've got a nice colour on these on one side. Just going to take them out. Nice sort of butters browning off. Just going to give them a little brush because these things are like sponges for flavour. And then back in the oven for another few seconds. They're sizzling way nice. All done now. And that's our aubergine slices ready for the pizza. Gonna assemble our pizza, got our fine semolina here, a little bit on the deck, grab a dough ball out. Gosney have a book coming out as well, which has loads of wicked recipes in there. How to make pizza, how to use the oven. It's epic, check it out. As always, don't be afraid to use a lot of flour at this point. It's all gonna come off when you open the dough. We're gonna push the air to the crust, bringing it down and around, flip it round. We've got a very rustic tomato sauce here. Use whatever tomatoes you like. These ones are just hand crushed little cherry tomatoes and they've just had a little salt in there. If you want to intensify the flavor on this, you could cook the sauce down with some garlic, some herbs, a little olive oil. And we've got our peccary, no, oh, no, we've got our parmigiano. Loads of this on there. If you want to make this one a little bit more funky, get some aged palm. Decent amount of fresh basil goes on this one. Our fior de lac mozzarella and our garlicky, buttery, banging aubergine slices. A little bit more cheese on top, because why not? And a little extra virgin olive oil. That's ready for the arc. It's going to stretch this out to the limits. This is a 270-ish gram dough ball. Make a full 12 inch pizza. Oven's rocking at 467 degrees. It's 873 Fahrenheit. Straight in there, to the back, slam it down. Straight out, give it a twist. Pizza is rising on the left. Just going to heat up the peel a little bit. Ignore that motorbike. And we're going to break the seal and give it its first turn. Nice 180 turn. Put it back down exactly the same spot. The beauty of the arc and it's nice flame that comes over the side, you get a really nice even heat all the way around. Getting a nice color on the crust. Okay, that dough's cooked out now. I'm just gonna finish off the edges. Pizza's baked. Like to finish this one off with some extra palm. You know, it wouldn't be an aubergine parmigiana without it. Make it rain. Plenty of this. That's it, that's my aubergine pizza parmigiana. Let's make our third one. Pizza carbonara. This one, we're gonna use some guanciale. This is the cheek of the pig. It's been cured. If you can't get this, you can just use some pancetta or even some nice smoky bacon. But this stuff is better, and it's what should go in your carbonara. Just gonna take the fat off. Nice little thin slices. It's quite fatty. The fat's gonna just kind of crisp up, melt out in the oven. I forgot to tell you what's on this one, didn't I? I recently put it on my menu. It sold out, so I had to run it again and I thought I'd bake it for you guys. It is an absolute banger. Basically a pizza Bianca. So we're gonna lay down some cheese, pecorino, some black pepper, and we're gonna finish it off with some really nice golden egg yolk after it's baked. Tastes like carbonara in pizza format. Nice bit of flour. So we're gonna flip our dough over. Gonna push the air to the crust. Do you like carbonara? Do I like carbonara? I like it. So we've got our base, heavy amount of pecorino, decent amount of this, nice crack of black pepper. Field of that mozzarella on there. 
our guanciale slices and a nice little drizzle of olive oil. Weapon of choice today, am I doing this all over again? Yes. Nice and flexible. Pizza just wants to slide on and off it really easily. It will make a full 12 inch pizza. Arc is running at about 485 degrees, which is perfect temperature for my style of pizza. So towards the back, slam it down, straight out. Unbelievably non-stick this thing. Pizza just wants to slide off it. As always, a full 180. Getting a really nice color on the underside of this one. You can see the, uh, the guanciale's just, the fat on it's just starting to sizzle up. Nice color on the underside and on the top. I'm just gonna keep turning it, finish it off. We're done. When we do it again, we're done. Okay, and this one, this is where the fun starts. Got our egg yolk. Just gonna drizzle this on and the heat of the uh, pizza is gonna cook this off. UK lion stamped eggs, they've been vaccinated. They're all good. And you can drink this raw, it's absolutely fine. So don't worry about it. Some more pecorino. Don't be afraid to use a lot of this. So we're just gonna finish this with a little basil. Oh yeah, it will happen. And a little black pepper. Okay, so that's it. Pizza carbonara, done. It's dark, I wanna go home, it's cold, let's eat some pizza. Pizza is cold as well, because it's safe for ages. But this cutter still glides through it. Come, May, sis, come eat some pizza as well. Matty, both of you, let's go, both of you. What? Come and eat some pizza. So we've got the zucca, carbonara, and the aubergine. Tuck in. Um. Everyone loves cold pizza, right? Okay, that was three absolute bangers for the recipe. Go to gosney.com. Cut. Like Erica said earlier though, Rocky ate, drank, drank like raw eggs. He's fine, isn't he? He beat what? Drago, Mr. T, Apollo. Sorry, he's not with us, but you know. Apollo Yeah, I know, it's a shame. I'm here with the Gosney XL cooking three absolute bangers. Let's do it. Uh, Gosney XL. sake.